Hi guys, today I want to talk about the importance of analysis in your content and how at the end of each month, at least really, if not every week, but every month if you can, um, or every quarter at the very minimum, you should be looking at your content and assessing what worked and what hasn't and how you can adapt your content plan moving forwards. So some of the things you need to be looking at are where are you getting inquiries from, where are you getting your leads from, but also where you're getting your traffic from. And these are really different. You know, for example, for me, Facebook brings me the most traffic, but actual tangible business is brought to me by Instagram. So I'm aware that Facebook might give me the numbers, but the real conversion for me happens on Instagram. So it's being aware of these things. What topics are getting you the most interest? What are your most read blogs? what you're most uh, engaged with social media updates and learning from this so you can learn what content your audience are reacting to and responding to, what they like, what they want more of, what perhaps isn't working or is getting you less engagement and having less of an impact. And it's basically using these insights and using this intel to improve and hone your content moving forward. So these are the things you need to be looking at. And that can be, you can, you, know, you can go down in full detail, you can look at what keywords have got you uh, traffic, you can look at what referrers have got you traffic, you can look at what social platforms have got you traffic, you can look at what hashtags are working for you, you can look at what posts are getting you the most interest. You, um, can, like, what you can't track digitally is what's getting you conversions, it's harder to track that, but I track that personally. So every time somebody responds to an email newsletter I send out and they ask about something I'm offering that I've talked about in the newsletter, I track that. Every time somebody responds to an Instagram post by sending me a DM and saying, I'm interested in X, you know, and starts a conversation around working together, if I don't have the space to work for them, that's one thing. If I don't have the time to work for them or if they're not the right fit for me, that what I'm really tracking here is that I got that inquiry in the first place, that I could convert that business. And then I track the actual conversions as well. So I track inquiries that come in, whether or not I've got space, whether or not they're a good fit. I still track these so I know what's giving me what engagement and what's giving me what um, what inquiries. But then I also track conversion clients that I actually end up going on to book. So for example, a few weeks ago in my newsletter, I sent out uh, a little bit about this this thing that I offer called Ehab, which is where I make people's emails sound better. So when a customer says, I'd like to work with you, that email you send back, I write that for people and I call that Ehab. And I promoted Ehab on my uh, on my newsletter and I had six inquiries about Ehab following that newsletter and two conversions, two people that were willing to wait until December, January when I had space and I booked them in. So for me, that email really worked. You know, when I look at the the content payoff for me, it took maybe 45 minutes of my time to write, send, and speak to people following that email. And following that, I had two confirmed bookings and other inquiries that didn't pay off because, you know, they want it now and I'm not free now, etc., etc., which isn't the content's fault. So these are things I can track. You know, what, what services are getting me interest, what mediums am I getting it across on so you know email marketing for me I have a small email database it's not a big email database but they're very engaged and I get a lot of conversion from there as most people do on their email newsletter list because it's such a powerful potent place these people have signed up to be interested in what you offer so you know when you're tracking your content don't forget your emails don't forget to look at what got what got you the most click-throughs what got you the best open rate you know and analyze that as well it's so important to track your content and to say what is working for me and what isn't. What is resulting in engagement, comments, likes, you know, discussion on my page, but also what is re- what is resulting in conversion. That's so, so important. What is translating into tangible sales for you? If you're interested in this and you'd like to know more, my new course, Contented, launches this week. It's an intense one-week course uh, that's live. You get to do the modules and join the Facebook group. It's going to be really intimate, really exclusive, um, and really incredible. And we're going to be diving into uh, di- di- you know, different types of platforms, the content that you create, how to come up with good creative ideas, how to track and audit your content, and I'm going to be there on hand throughout. Um, and the Facebook group's permanent, so you know, you've got me for life, not just for the course. I would love it if you check it out and join me, and take care. See you on the next video.